In this video, I'm sharing 5 powerful tricks that'll save you time and take your edits to the next level. Whether you're a beginner or already editing like a pro, there's something here for you. Let's jump in. This effect is actually much easier than it looks. Start by placing your text in the center of the frame. To do that, hold down Ctrl, then click and drag the text to align it perfectly in the middle. Next, go to the effects library and search for the crop effect. Drag it onto your text layer. In the effect controls, click on the crop effect and switch over to the program monitor. Now crop the text so that only the first letter is visible. Once that's done, search for the transform effect and apply it to the same clip. If you try animating the position right now, the crop will be ignored. To fix this, simply drag the crop effect above the transform effect in the effect controls panel. Now animate the position using the transform effect to make the letter pop into frame. Don't forget to ease your keyframes and increase the shutter angle for natural looking motion blur. Once you're happy with the animation, go back to the timeline and duplicate the text layer. Select the duplicate and go into effect controls. Adjust the crop so that only the second letter is visible. To create a nice staggered reveal, offset this second layer by 2 to 3 frames on the timeline. Repeat this process for each letter, cropping and offsetting, until you have a clean, stair-step animation. And that's it. You now have a super smooth, dynamic text reveal. Next, I'll show you how to smooth and soften skin in your video using Premiere Pro. Duplicate the clip. Start by holding the Alt key then drag your video clip upward to create a duplicate. Apply the VR Denoise effect. Go to the effects panel and search for VR Denoise. Drag and drop it onto your duplicated clip. Adjust noise level. Head over to the effect controls panel. Under VR Denoise, reduce the noise level to your preference. Lower values give a smoother look without losing too much detail. Add a mask. Still in the effect controls panel, click on the ellipse mask button under the VR Denoise effect. Resize and reposition the ellipse so it fits nicely over the face. Feather the mask. Increase the mask feather to blend the effect naturally. This softens the edges so the smoothing looks more realistic. Animate the mask. Now we'll make the mask follow the face. Toggle the stopwatch next to mask path to start keyframing. Move forward in your timeline and adjust the mask's position to follow the face throughout the video. Repeat this process as needed, I fast forwarded this part for now. And that's it. You've successfully smoothed and softened skin in your video. Now we go to next video. I'll show you how to create a smooth crop wipe transition between two video clips using the crop effect in Premiere Pro. Set up your timeline. Place your top video clip on video layer 2, and your second clip underneath it on video layer 1. Apply the crop effect. Go to the effects panel and search for crop. Drag and drop it onto the top clip on V2. Animate the crop for a reveal. In the effect controls panel, under crop, click the stopwatch next to the left property to create a starting keyframe. Move forward in the timeline, maybe near the end of the clip, and increase the left crop to 100% or even 200% for a more dynamic feel. Don't forget to apply ease out on the first keyframe and ease in on the last for smoother motion. Adjust timing. If the reveal feels too fast, simply move the keyframes further apart. Spacing them out slows the transition, giving it a more cinematic pace. Add sound effects. I'm adding a mix of swoosh, bird chirps, and water sounds to bring life to the transition. Drag your sound effects onto the audio track, and line them up using the waveform so they sync perfectly with the crop animation. Alt plus left arrow on Windows, to nudge your sound clip frame by frame for precise syncing. Adjust the edge feather if you want a softer blend between clips. Make sure the sound and movement feel synced. This small detail makes a big difference. Party popper and that's it. You now have a sleek crop transition enhanced with immersive sound design. How to track an effect in Premiere Pro so easy? Go to the effects panel and search for the effect you want. Drag and drop it onto your video clip in the timeline. Now head over to the effect controls panel. Select the ellipse mask tool or any mask shape that suits your object. And draw a mask around the area you want to track. Adjust the feather and opacity settings to fine tune the look of your effect. Next, tweak the effect settings as needed within the masked area. Then click the stopwatch icon next to mask path to enable keyframing. To begin tracking, click the play button, track selected mask forward. Premiere Pro will now analyze the clip and automatically track the mask to follow your subject.
this process may take some time depending on your computer's performance. And that's how you master mask tracking like a pro. We're unlocking another powerful trick that'll level up your editing game. You have this cool text layer on your video but you want to make it a little bit more readable. Let me show you a super cool trick. Head over to the effects library and find the gauge and blur effect. Click and drag it on your original video. With your clip selected, go to the effect controls and increase the blurriness. Next, click the rectangle mask button. And as you can see, you'll get a blurry rectangle. You can click and drag to select multiple points of the mask and drag them to the left to make it bigger. If you hold down shift, the mask points will only adjust on the axis you're dragging. Do that until it creates a beautiful box around your text. Then to make the effect look like glass, make sure to turn down the mask feather. You can then use it to create cool animations like this. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more content like this.